So today for Halloween we're looking at modelling a witch's hat on SolidWorks. The first step of the procedure is to model the brim of the hat. So initially we're going to sketch the uh, general circumference of the hat and then we will sketch the waviness of it as well using a spline on the front plane and then by creating a projected curve of these two sketches we can start to get the profile of a sweep for the brim of the hat. Now we have this projected curve what we need to produce next is the profile for the sweep so on the uh, well first of all we need to create a plane normal to the path and then we will sketch on that the required profile to be swept around it. Now we have our path and our profile, we can create our sweep and we have the brim of our hat. The next, the next step is to create construction geometry for the rest of the hat. Uh, doing this allows us to have more control of the splines that we create later on as the guide curves and profiles for the loft. These are just rough dimensions that we use this time, uh, obviously these could be varied to produce different uh, styles. So we'll start by creating our guide guide curves on the uh, front plane of the model. Once we've created these we can use the construction geometry to relate points of the spline and then we can use the spline handles to uh, edit the geometry that's produced. Using these spline handles we can tweak the sketch, uh, the spline, until we get the geometry that we're looking for. Just going to name uh, each uh, sketch just so we keep track of which uh, guide curve is which. Again we're using our construction geometry that we created initially to relate our spline uh, to a particular sort of shape and dimension that we're looking for. And again we're using the spline handles to get the required curvature of the hat. F potentially for more guidance on this we could use a sketch picture, uh, but for just now we'll do it a bit more freeform and just use our own eye. So now we're creating our third guide curve, so on a different plane now. Making sure that it's coincident to the inside edge of the brim, so that there's no gap between the loft and the uh, brim of the hat. Again, using the construction geometry we created earlier to uh, guide the guide curves that we're producing.
this point now we want to produce our loft profile so we're going to create different planes at each of the reference points we created in our sketch geometry earlier and then we're going to rename these planes so that we can keep track of which profile is which We can now sketch blinds on each of these planes we've produced to create the different loft profiles for the final loft to produce the geometry of the hat. Each time now we're trying to make the sort of profile of the hat just inside the previous one roughly, uh, just to give it that uh, pointy shape as it goes towards the top. Again, throughout this process, using the different uh, spline handles to manipulate the geometry produced to get the sort of more freeform shape of the hat. Now we have our guide curves and our profiles, we can create the loft to produce the rest of the geometry. So, selecting the guide curves that we created and named earlier, and then the profiles as well. Now we're going to produce a lofted surface down through and past the brim. Uh, with surfaces it's always best to uh, create it too large initially and then you can then trim it back later. So we're going to loft it uh, beyond the bottom of the brim. So again selecting our guide curves and this time playing around with our start and end constraints to get the right curvature between each aspect of the model. So now we've produced that surface we can trim off the excess that's gone below the brim using the brim as the trim tool. Finally it remains to just put the point on the end of the witch's hat. So what we're going to do is we're going to loft to a point, the point being the final profile of the loft and this will give us our uh, pointy end to the hat. And there we have our final product of the witch's hat and here is a picture of it rendered in Visualize. <laughs>